What up everyone? We are back today with another one. Today we're making one of my favorite comfort foods, red beans and rice. Rich, creamy, smooth, velvety red beans. Often served with tandoori sausage, sometimes served with tasso, ham hock, some Creole spices, some bay leaves, some thyme, and a little rice on the side. So I wanna show you this dish, stick around and uh, let's get cooking. guys we are back uh, we're just going to give you a quick rundown of these beautiful ingredients today of course we have the red beans to my right that's been soaking overnight so you soak them with uh, in water and just let them uh, sit in the refrigerator overnight we have some smoked ham hocks of course I use the rice for scallions tasso that's been smoked in, in my smoker for maybe an hour or so an hour two hours uh, with, with hickory wood uh, if you don't have tasso you can also use diced ham or you can use pickled pork which is a southern staple normally i use that but i don't have any today so i think tasso will work and also you can't forget the trinity uh onion celery and bell pepper some bay leaf and andouille sausage so first thing you start you're gonna have a little olive oil you can use vegetable oil if you don't have that and we're going to just go to saute the olive, oops, sorry. We're just going to saute the Adobe sausage and we're going to saute the tasso. Now, I, I love this stuff because it starts to add really that flavor to your beans, really starts to, to pull up flavors as you really add the vegetables. Everything really starts to come together and you get a magnificent uh, braise on the beans. I'm going to cook the Adobe sausage and tasso. Uh, for two or three minutes, or just until it starts to really caramelize and get happy. I'm gonna uh, touch more olive oil to get it going. So once the sausage is done, we'll use like a um, perforated spoon, and we'll lift the uh, sausage and tasso up, really drain the heat, drain the oil well from the uh, tasso and uh, under the sausage and leave it in. Leave it in because that's lots and lots and lots of flavor that we really want to incorporate in the dish. Now you can see it's starting to caramelize a little bit and we're gonna allow this to cook for at least a, a, another two minutes. Another key all minutes to really get you a good sturdy pot. Cooks evenly, cooks nicely, you can use cast iron. But today we're gonna use uh, stainless steel with uh, 360 cookware. I'll leave a link in my description box for it. When I purchase, you can uh, put in the link. So I'm get some caramelization. And once this gets slightly caramelized, we'll add it to the bowl. So this is the color that you want to see, or start to see, as you start to cook it. You see some brown tidbits starting to caramelize, especially in the top so You start to see it slightly. And the uh, green sauce as well. Out a little bit. I'm going to turn the fire down a little bit and begin to add our Trinity of onion, celery, and bell pepper. And we're gonna work in one jalapeno as well. Let's Creole season it. And a little salt. Just get some stir. Let's cook them in it. With the next, we're gonna add our garlic. At least two tablespoons of chopped garlic. And also, I like to add a cup of the whites from scallions. So this may be enough from two bunches of scallions just to get a little trick. Next we have dry thyme and dehydrated red bell pepper. I like to use the dehydrated red bell pepper because it gives it such an intensity uh, to the beans as well. 
and adds a nice touch to it. it. Just gives it a lot more flavor to bay leaves. Add these to it. I like to give this a nice stir. Get all those flavors. So at least some more Creole in there. You got a little bit more, so this is roughly at least three tablespoons. Then we just cover the top of water. We'll cover it with at least six uh, cups of water or until it's just uh, covered right through. So normally it's it measures out to six cups. So a little bit more. Let's give this a nice stir. Let's let this get all happy. And drop the ham hocks in. I'm gonna cook these for 45 minutes to an hour because I, I soak the beans, which allows me to reduce my cooking time less versus if I cook the dry beans in there, my cooking time will be more. So we'll cover these and just let these go for one hour. All right guys, periodically I'll just check on the beans. Give them a stir, you can start to see starting to get that beautiful color on them. They're working their way into um, getting nice and creamy. Uh, you know, I'm always tasting as I go. So, getting the flavors right where I want. Just gonna cover that and just let them go a little longer. All right, guys, we are back. Beans looking good. And just give this a nice stir, turn the fire now a little bit. Give this a nice stir. Next, we're gonna remove the bay leaves. And what I like to do is just take a, a whisk and kind of smash some of the beans in. So it allows the beans to get nice and creamy. Now you can take some of the beans out and smash it yourself, but I like to do it all in one, all in the pot. Make it a little easier on myself. But it reduces the stuff and you still create the same process of uh, making creamy beans. As you can see, some of the beans are starting to come together and thicken up. So after this stuff, after I've creamed the beans, and I'm gonna add the Toss when I do it back to it for another 10 minutes and we should be all set and ready for a great, great beans and rice dish. I'm gonna add the tasso and I'm doing sauces back, get that nice stir. And fold in some green onions that were cut. So these are the tops that were cut. You saw me use the bottoms earlier, so now we're gonna add a little bit. If you don't have green onions, you can use parsley. I prefer fresh, but if you're not fresh, um, sometimes dry can work just as well. Let's cook for about 10 minutes with the top off. All right guys, it's been 10 minutes, so our dish is finally complete. So always, I like to eat with rice, which is very, very traditional, so that's what we're gonna have it with. And also top it with a green onion to finish it off. Like I said, this is just a easy dish that can do the work for you. Get off right there. Finish with little green onions. All right, guys, who said cooking can be this simple? We're talking about maximum flavor, minimal effort. If you like this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And feel free to download this recipe on my app, Food Culture, available on Android and Apple, along with many other dishes that you'll see along the way. I look forward to cooking with you again, and happy cooking.